Hello everyone and welcome back to our course on Microsoft Teams. In the previous module I showed you how to schedule a meeting and in this module I just want to very quickly talk to you about live events. Now if we click on this new meeting button in the top corner, if you remember the other option we have in there is live event. Now the difference between a meeting and a live event is that a live event is a live stream and it's normally for large audiences. So for example, I host webinars every single week and normally I can have 500 people or so from all around the world attending my webinar. So in that instance, a live event would be more appropriate as opposed to a meeting. Now the way that you set up a live event isn't a great deal different to the way that you schedule a meeting, but let's just do one so you can see exactly what to expect. So I'm going to select live event. You can see here it says you are setting up a live event. To invite attendees, copy the link once you schedule the live event and publish it or send it in a calendar invite. So because this live event is going to a large audience, and with live events, they won't necessarily all be within your organization. So it's much more efficient to copy the link to the live event and then send it out via Outlook or maybe publish it to a website, something along those lines. So I'm going to say training event. I'm not going to add a location. I am going to set a time and a date though. So let's say Friday. And this is going to be at 5 p.m until 6 p.m. You could put the details about the live event in there. For the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. And you can invite presenters. So I'm listed as the event producer, but if Adam is speaking at this live event, I can invite him as a presenter and he will have presenter privileges in the live event. I'm going to click on next. Now this is where you can specify the live event permissions. So the top option here, people and groups, only the specified people and groups can watch the live event. I can set it to org wide. So it means that everyone in my organization, so sharing the same email address can watch the live event. Or I can have public, the live event will be open to anyone. And it says use this when most of the attendees are outside of your organization. Now you can see that that one for me at the moment is greyed out because this option hasn't been enabled by my administrator. But if it has, that will be an option that you can select. So I'm just going to say org wide and I'm going to say schedule. And there we go. So it says to invite attendees, copy the link. So I'm going to say get attendee link and it's been copied to the clipboard and I'm going to close down. So I can now see that live event scheduled in my calendar. And if we click on it, we have a join link in there. But in order to notify people about this training event, I need to send them the link. So it might be that I want to jump across to Teams and maybe I want to put the link into the general channel. I can do control V to paste that in. And when I click it, that's going to take me into the live event. And you can see here it says the live event hasn't started yet. Alternatively, I could paste that link into an email and send that out. So that's particularly useful if you have a lot of external participants joining the live event. So really what I want to get across to you here is the difference between just a regular meeting and hosting a live event. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.